Hi, I'm Chef Scott Samuel from the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone here in Napa Valley. I'm going to make a salad today incorporating roasted grapes, octopus, fingerling potatoes, and a lime aioli. So we're going to cook the octopus in a method called sous vide, which is under pressure in a bag, cooked in a water bath for a period of time at a certain temperature. We're going to cook our octopus today at 143 degrees for six hours, and this is going to maintain the texture of the octopus that we're looking for, the flavor, and the moisture. So if you don't have the equipment to cook sous vide, you could also cook in the traditional Mediterranean way of taking the octopus and simmering it slowly in a pot of seasoned water. So what we would do is take the octopus, we blanch it a couple times in boiling water to firm it up, then we drop it in that water, and that water has bay leaf, lemon, onion, and we cook it for a slow simmer for about three hours. So we're getting the kind of the same concept of slow cooking, braising, but the sous vide is gonna take it to the next step. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Different cultures cook octopus in different ways. The first thing we're gonna do for our sous vide today is fabricate the octopus. So I've ordered uh, the whole octopus. And what we wanna do is break it down and clean it, and we'll end up with our legs are portioned. We take off the top skin off the leg. We fabricate the head of the octopus. And then what I've done is I've rubbed this with grated daikon, about a cup of grated daikon and a half a cup of salt, and I rub it. And the daikon helps tenderize the octopus. After I've rubbed it and kind of rubbed it for about 10 minutes, I rinse it off. And then here I am at that point where I'm ready to add my aromatics. So the aromatics for uh, the sous vide octopus will be red pepper flakes, thyme, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, bay leaf, and a tablespoon of salt. All this is gonna be combined in the bowl. Toss to coat, and I'm gonna place this in a uh, bag that I can seal, vacuum seal under pressure. So once I've taken this and I've uh, sealed it, extracted all the air, I'm going to then place it in my water bath and set the temperature for 143 degrees and cook it for six hours. So I'm gonna use a second bag here because I don't want to overload it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cryo back these, which will extract all the air and pressurize these bags. And then they'll be ready for cooking in our water bath. So after uh, putting this on a vacuum seal, you can see there's no air in here. And we're going to put them in our uh, immersion circulator bath here at 143 degrees. Basically just drop this in and uh, we'll let it cook at this temperature, which maintains the temperature for six hours. When it's done, we'll bring it out, chill it, and then we'll be ready to finish our salad. The rest of the ingredients that we have will be slow roasted fingerling potatoes, uh, fresh grapes that we're gonna go ahead and roast some of them, Italian parsley, green olives, a nice olive oil, some lemon zest and lime juice, and the sauce that I wanna serve with this is a lime aioli. So an aioli is a like a mayonnaise, we're gonna go ahead and take an egg yolk, lime juice, and whisk in the olive oil to develop a nice little sauce for our salad. All right, so egg yolk, lime juice, pinch of salt. This is the base of the aioli. And I'm gonna set up a little base for my bowl and slowly whisk in my olive oil to develop an emulsion. So right there we see some texture. That's our lime aioli. Another small pinch of salt. Touch of cayenne. And this is what we'll serve with the octopus and grape salad. Okay, so for the grapes, I put them in a 400 degree oven coated with just enough oil to coat and I've roasted them for about 10 minutes until they just start to burst and soften. So the grapes are gonna go whole in the salad tossed with the grilled octopus, potatoes, and then I'm gonna take some of our fresh grapes and have them incorporated. So we have a fresh bite of the grape with a kind of a roasted flavor, the sweetness of the grape, the creamy potato, the herbaceousness of our Italian parsley, 
the brininess of the olive, all tied together with a bit of lemon and olive oil. And uh, our potatoes have been uh, slow roasted at about 325 for about 35 to 45 minutes until they become soft. I'm not looking for a, a high heat roast, kind of a low heat roast. So let's take a look at our uh, octopus. For the sake of the recipe, I've done one ahead of time. This is what it looks like after it's cooked for six hours. See, a lot of the moisture's been pulled out, but it's actually had a chance to cook in its own moisture. Okay, so let's take a look at our octopus. We've taken it out of our sous vide bag, and I would like to grill it now. So you see a lot of this moisture. This is all moisture that's been uh, extracted from the octopus. Season with a little uh, black pepper, salt. Go right onto our grill. Pan. Okay, so we're just going to get some uh, nice grill marks on here for the flavor. It's already completely cooked. We just want to get the char on the outside. That's uh, part of the flavor profile of the salad. So we've got some nice color on our octopus. And uh, mind you, the octopus is completely cooked. We're just cooking to uh, grilling to get some actual caramelized flavor. This salad is best served room temperature. And we're going to go ahead and slice up some of these legs for our presentation. So I like to slice it at the angle. So octopus roasted grapes along with the juices from the roasting pan. Roasted fingerling potatoes, Italian parsley, green olives, our fresh red grapes, lemon zest, lime juice, toss to coat, touch of black pepper, touch of salt, or olive oil, now we're ready to plate. A little splash of the lime aioli on the plate, a nice mound of our roasted red grape octopus salad, a little drizzle of the aioli on top. pinch of salt. So here we have it, our roasted grape, octopus, and fingerling potato salad with a lime aioli. Enjoy.